Hi everyone, it's Jeremy. The Redmi Note 11 series was released a few months ago and for the occasion of the Xiaomi Fan Festival 2022, a special edition is available in more than 30 countries and I have one of it right here. And that's great because I hadn't had the opportunity to review the standard version. First of all, what is the Xiaomi Fan Festival? April 6, 2010 is the anniversary of the creation of Xiaomi and at this time each year the brand organized this festival to reward fans of the brand. Events, promotion and special edition are launched during this period which lasts from April 1st to April 6th this year. I also show you a Redmi Note 9S in a special edition two years ago. I'll put the link in the description if you want to take a look on the event page and we'll go to the unboxing part right now. The phone arrived in this pretty box which itself arrived in a plastic box as well as a strap in the color of the events. So I didn't understand it right away but this strap and this transparent box go together and make it a kind of a reusable pack. I'll put you some pictures once the set is assembled. If we take a look into the box it is very colorful and inside we find the Redmi Note 11 with its box, again with a different design with the stars and above all a limited edition card for the XFF 2022 with a chip inside. For the smartphone, the box contains some stickers in the color of the event, a flexible plastic protective shell, a 33 watt charger and a USB-C to USB cable. If we look at the smartphone, this one measures 8mm thick for a weight of 179 grams. It remains light enough and here we have the twilight blue version with the mention of the XFF next to the Redmi brand. On the top there is a jackpot, a speaker, an infrared transmitter and a microphone. On the right side are the volume and power buttons which integrate the fingerprint sensor. On the bottom, a microphone, the USB-C port and a second speaker for stereo and on the left side the dual SIM drawer. This is where the difference ends with the special edition compared to the more standard version. For the screen, this one measures 6.43 inches despite the low price, it's an AMOLED screen with Full HD Plus resolution and a refresh rate of 90Hz. We will be there for our beautiful colors, deep blacks and I believe that there are few or no Xiaomi phone left in LCD when competitors still offer them on much more expensive models. You'll be able to enjoy watching video in good condition. For power you'll get a Snapdragon 680 with 4 to 6 GB of RAM and 64 to 128 GB of storage, all in LPDDR4X and UFS 2.2. You can also expand the storage with the micro SD card up to 1TB, the phone has MIUI 13 but runs on Android 11. Regarding the benchmark, I'll let you take a look at the score. The scores are modest which is normal given the price range but in use it remains fluid and pleasant to use and we can even play games like Call of Duty Mobile by of course lowering the settings. For the audio part, we have a jack port and more important for me, stereo. The quality is correct for the points and once again you can find competitors phone costing more than double which do not even have stereo, so again a very good point for watching TV shows and movies, and here is an example. For autonomy, the phone has a 5000 mAh battery and support 33 watt fast charging with the supply charger. I use the PC Mark app to simulate typical smartphone use and drop the battery from 100% to 20% and got a score of 16 hours using the screen at 90 Hz. We therefore easily last two days with this smartphone and it will take about one hour to fully recharge it. For the photo and video part, we have a 50 megapixel main sensor, an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor, a 2 megapixel macro sensor, and a 2 megapixel depth sensor. For the selfie sensor, it has 30 megapixel and we can film up to Full HD at 60 frames per second. For the price of the phone, you can't ask a lot of it and the main sensor does well enough to take good enough photos in good light condition when the other sensors are less interesting and less detailed. For the price, the standard model can be found on the Xiaomi site for around 200 euros in France. For this special edition, at the time I shot this video, it is available at 249 euros on the French Xiaomi website with a bonus gift. And I think that with violent promotion in progress, we can even have it for less than that. And of course, you should look into your own Xiaomi store to get the correct price. The phone is more than okay, we have here a phone at around 200 euros which offers a 90 hz AMOLED screen and stereo, it remains fluid in everyday use and will allow you to consume content in good condition. This special version brings a few extra touches in terms of design and packaging. If you can have it at the same price as the standard version or for not much more, it can be interesting if you are a true me fan but otherwise the classic version will be more than enough. 
In any case, don't hesitate to check out the different pages for the Xiaomi Fan Festival 2022, a lot of promotions are underway and it would be a shame not to take advantage of them. I still have a Redmi Note Pro Plus 5G to review and I'll let you with the first look of the phone if you haven't seen it yet, and I see you in the next video.